Anytime a tooth has been damaged and needs a restoration, including a crown or a filling, there's a possibility that the tooth pulp has been injured and will eventually die, resulting in the need for a root canal to save the tooth. Teeth die for various reasons. A blow to the tooth that causes pulp damage, germs infecting the tooth pulp, and sometimes for no apparent reason at all. The tooth pulp is a soft tissue made up of nerves, arteries, and veins. The pulp extends from the pulp chamber down through a narrow channel, which is the root canal, all the way to the tip of the root. If the pulp is injured, or if germs get into the pulp chamber, these germs cause infection and the pulp dies. The pus from the infection eventually builds up at the root tip and makes a hole in the bone. This is called an abscess. An infected tooth will never heal on its own, and as it gets worse, it will continue to be a source of infection that drags down your immune system. Though a dying tooth may not show any symptoms, common symptoms include sensitivity to hot or cold, swelling and pain, or a bad taste in your mouth. We want the entire root canal procedure to be comfortable for you, so the first thing we'll do is make sure you're thoroughly numb. If you've had a crown placed on your tooth, it's been permanently cemented in place, there are a few options to choose from. In some cases, a small hole can be made in the crown to get at the infection, and the root canal can be performed through the crown. This is a dental file. We use it to carefully clean out the infected tissue and shape the canals to receive the filling material. We take x-rays to make sure that all of the infected pulp is removed. After placing the filling material, we then simply place a filling in the hole in the crown. In other cases, we need to remove the crown to properly perform the root canal. We then seat a new crown on the newly root canaled tooth. Now you know that while a crown is necessary to protect the outside of the tooth, it doesn't do anything to protect the pulp inside. If after a procedure that pulp becomes infected, only a root canal can save your tooth.